The second round of the high school baseball and softball state playoffs were this evening. We had an intriguing 2A matchup in baseball in the Wheat Swamp as Aiden Grifton took the 25 minute drive southwest to face North Lenore tonight. Luke Cannon, a wild pitch. That brings in Austin Jones for the Chargers. 3 to 2. Aiden Grifton would be up after three innings. Back came the Hawks. Eli Kearney, a strikeout for North Lenore. The Hawks come back and get the win 6 to 5. They will host Camden County in the third round on Tuesday next week. Staying in 2A, we go up the road to Snow Hill as the 2C Green Central Rams hosted Whiteville in the second round of the state playoffs. Leland Barrow, the strikeout for the Green Central Rams. And then here comes Will Radford, smacking a ball deep down the third baseline, deep into the corner. That's enough to bring Elijah Monroe all the way around to score from second base. Green Central wins four to three to advance to the third round. Rams will host Farmville Central in the third round. Tuesday, Farmville Central won on the road six to five against Southwest Edgecombe this evening. Let's switch to softball in 1A. The 1A or the one seeded Pamlico County Hurricanes hosted Jones Senior in the second round in Bayboro in a battle of two local teams. Hurricanes swept the season series between the two. Layla Prescott. A hit into right. That brings in Peyton Robinson to score for the Hurricanes. Then it's Alyssa Beck continuing the hit party. Here comes Avery Kane to score from second. And Pamlico wins big 12 to 1. They advance to the third round where they will host Chatham Charter in the third round on Tuesday. In high school lacrosse, we've reached the quarterfinals of the state playoffs for the boys and girls brackets. In boys, Havelock played at Northwood tonight in Pittsburgh. Rams fall big 15 to four, so their season ends. In girls, one seeded Croatan hosted Union Pines Adam Cameron tonight. Cougars win 18 to seven. They advance to the semifinals Tuesday where they will host Northwood who beat J.H. Rose 14 to seven tonight in Pittsburgh. College baseball, 14th ranked East Carolina hosted its final home weekend series of the season starting tonight with game one against Memphis. Alec Makarevich, a three run homer in the sixth. ECU wins 10 to four. Five straight wins for the Pirates. Game two tomorrow at 4 p.m. between the two teams. Let's take a look at the rest of the college baseball games we had our eyes on tonight. North Carolina, big win at home against NC State, 9-3 in Chapel Hill. Duke falls at home, 8-5 to Georgia Tech. Number one seed, Wake Forest, on the road against Florida State, 10 to nothing shutout win where? And Gardner-Webb at 13th ranked Campbell, the Fighting Camels, a 4-3 narrow victory at home. Minor League Baseball, look who threw out the first pitch at the Wood Ducks game tonight. Kinston legend and Dallas Mavericks star Reggie Bullock. Reg back in town, enjoying the offseason. Wood Ducks would fall to the Delmarva Shorebirds, however, 7-2. A big thank you to our good friend Brian Hanks from the Brian Hanks Show for the video. Thank you, sir. Lenore Community College Baseball had game one of their South Atlantic District D2 Championship at St. John's River State College in Palatka, Florida today. And unfortunately for the Lancers, they get shut out big 10 to nothing in game one. Game two tomorrow is at 2 p.m. Lenore Community College needs to win to stay alive. If they don't, their season comes to an end. NBA playoffs, game six of the second round series with the Knicks and the Heat. Miami at 3-2 in the series. North side of Beaufort County alum, Bam Adebayo finished with 23 points, nine rebounds, near double-double. He had 17 points in the first half. Heat win 96-92 to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals where they will either host the Celtics or the 76ers take them on in that. NHL playoffs, who will the Hurricanes meet in the Eastern Conference Finals? The Florida Panthers or the Toronto Maple Leafs? Well, Nick Cousins answered that. Panthers get the win 3-2 in overtime in Game 5 to advance, and they will face the Canes. Florida Panthers, Carolina Hurricanes, Eastern Conference Finals for the right to go to the Stanley Cup Finals out of the East. That's your take on sports. Back to you guys.